Ah, uh, you don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. I was gonna put a bomb to this guy while he was sleeping, but I don't think anyone would like to be waking up with a bomb in their face. I mean, nobody would. I mean, imagine you wouldn't either. Maple syrup, because I'm really lacking in these stuff. Ah, uh, eat the plum blue block. I butchered my words every time, every single time. Just put that bow here because just in case any guard's trying to give us some the funny business. Uh oh, Tabba Blabba is getting on the alert. Sniff, sniff. I smell something very fishy. And again, don't fight Tabba Blabba. Wait, 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 wait. I'm over here. Yeah, again, if you fight Tabba Blabba, um, you can't do anything to him because he's invincible. Just go quietly. Leave these guys alone. Let them map. Grab the key. That's right here. And now... RUN! Suckers! <laughs> they just like... They don't even think to just go through the door and chase him. It's like, oh, he got to the other door. Oh well, back to sleep, I guess. Alright, that's what I need. A free health block. This is just as planned. Okay. Another high bridge right over here. More doors. So many floors. Some books. There's a chest. But some more thump thumping. Donkey Kong? No, tell blah blah. Hmm, I might be in trouble. That Star Spear ran away. And now I think someone suspicious is in the castle. I sure don't want to make King Bowser mad. He's scary. He did make me invincible, but if I screw up, he might change it back to normal. Notice the scar on his chest. That should be a hint of what his thing weakness is. Also, Mohir was like, this is how you hide? Just like, put your face on the board. Red is like, eh, maybe he won't notice me. Well, you have to go to sleep, I guess. Don't mind me. That's a key! Hi there, I'm Yaki. A faithful and chatty follower of Master Tubba Blabba. My very important job is to guard his valuables. But, you don't look like Master Tubba Blabba at all. That means, you've come here to steal me, the magical key that unlocks the door to Gwindy Wit Mill at the foot of the Gusty Gulch. And furthermore, your goal is to find out if there's a secret inside Windy Mill. Yes, it's true. Yeah, if you say he says if you say yes, he says you're honest. But if you say no, he said you're not a very good liar. And then, yeah, very honest person, aren't you? Hey, Mr. Tablova thief! Yeah, he took us. He alerted us. He's awake. We have to run now. Let's go. We're taking the key. We're kidnapping you. Double Blubba's getting drowsy, but we gotta run quickly. Oh, he's awake. This time. Oh, you three! Stop right there! He broke the bridge. Oh, you better want to run, Mario. Just don't want to get crushed by a bridge. Wow, look at the slowdown on that. Such slowdown. Well, he's over here now, so we gotta run. Now the chase begins. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run faster. Or I can just take my time. He's not gonna catch up, but again, just like before, avoid Tubba Blubba like the plague. Also, if you go here, those guards are now crushed by their, crushed by Tubba Blubba's attack. Meanwhile, outside, at last, we've arrived at Tubba Blubba's castle. Ready, everybody? Be brave, we have to do all we can to help Lady Bo. But what can we do? This is no time to lose our nerve, fellow boos. Our dear lady is fighting against Double Blubba himself. We mustn't hesitate. But then, but then as soon as this happens, guess what they do? They hold off the door. What, what, what's that noise? Double Blubba's chasing you? He's right there inside the door. Gulp. What, you may be able to find his weak point. Of course, the wind not the foot of the hill. Yeah. 
Must hurry. Run as fast as you can to the windy mill. We'll hold them here. How do ghosts who have no physical being whatsoever can hold the door? I don't know how long we can hold this. Don't worry about us. Just don't look back. Oh, you heard him. Smell delicious ghost. Open the door. And the enemies are still here. But Tabba Blubba isn't going to come after us, I guess. Or is he? Nope, he's not coming. We just got to keep running like crazy. That worked like a charm. And a nice level up too. Badge power, activate. You know what, I'm okay with this. I got a nice level up, which is what I needed. All right, I think I'll go for the multi-bounce, gonna go for the smash charge. And let's see, what do I wanna go for now? Refund, why not? Cause money is cool, nice to have money. Once I hit 999 coins, I'll just um, take it off. But that's the limit. You can never go past three digits. Three digits is all you need in a Mario game, I guess. I was playing Mario RPG, in which case, Gina World goes 9,999 damage. And now for the mythical key to open up the mythical windmill, the mythical well, and the mythical ground pound. Alright, let's keep going. Okay, let's read the sign. No entry allowed. Yeah, just jump over these guys. Really, no entry allowed. Now third Goomba. Absolutely no entry allowed. Well, stop telling what to do, sign. And we found the heart of the problem. Who are you? What? Mario? Did somebody tell you that I'm the secret strength to Tubba Blubba? Uh, no, no one said that at all. Someone spilled the beans that the Tubba Blubba in the castle is just a shell, and I'm controlling it from here? Nobody said anything like that at all. You can't trust anybody. I can't let you out of here knowing the secret of my invincible body. Sorry, but here we go. So yes, this heart right here is the real Tubba Blubba. Yeah, Tubba's heart, this is the real Tubba Blubba. See, about, see notice the scar on um, Tubba Blubba's chest? Yeah, the, the secret to um, making Tubba Blubba invincible was just a little bit of open heart surgery, literally. And hey you, Lady Ghost, you're looking quite tasty. Stick, in, stick around after battle, Buddy makes me hungry. Blech, you wish, you don't have a chance, you ghost goblin freak. Let's beat this thing up. A unique animation. <laughs> I'm gonna do this great attack, it's impossible to avoid. I just have to prepare a bit, so hang on for a second. Which means that's your cue to avoid it. See? So yes. Oh, my nice little attack boost. Nice and nifty. Nine damage, not bad. See? When it's little when attacks are coming up, you avoid it. So yeah, like I said, if you notice um the scar on Tubba Blubba's chest, that was um Bowser just removing his heart from there. So yeah, in other words, Bowser just gave Tubba Blubba some open heart surgery, and that just made him invincible because of course it did. Well I guess it only works if you have a sentient heart, I guess. Also kinda like uh Mr. Krabs and uh, having his own shell. He's invincible with his shell, but once he's outside of it, he's he's just vulnerable. And since we're inside the he's inside that crater, we can't use the hammer. Which is most unfortunate, I guess, but oh well. Simple boss fight. And he got regular attack too. Cause that's all because I can do that too. <sighs> Mashing it back and forth really hurts. The thumb sometimes. Oh, he's hurting. Oh, I'm hurting. I have to get out of here. And then the heart runs away. Better run away. After the heart, he cannot be allowed to escape. Okay, here we go. 
And we killed that Goomba, so he's no, no problem anymore. Whee! Hello. Hello, buddy. It's time to reunite. And it feels so good. Oh yeah, now I'm feeling good. With my heart and body united, there's no way to beat me. So now we fight the real Tubba Blubba. And again, this is just a continuation of the Tubba Blubba fight. So basically, we got all this health, remaining health back, and I messed that up. So yes, now that he's now that his heart is back in his body, he's literally invulnerable. He's just now he's no longer invincible. Okay, I'm gonna hammer you. Yow! Thirty star points. That's all she wrote. Oh no! My body and unite. Oh. Heart and body united, I'm not invincible anymore. You didn't realize that? Now I'm back to not invincible, double blah, blah, blah. That's so lame. I give up. I'll go get back to all the ghosts they ate. Forgive me. There we go. Is that all of them? Now it is. I'm actually a really sensitive guy trapped in a huge body. I don't want to be invincible anymore if it means I have to fight guys like you. Oh, poor Tubba Plubba. Ha ha ha. Serves you right, everyone who got eaten has returned safely. Hooray! But I guess I better tell everyone not to scare old Tubba Blubba anymore. We used to love scaring him night and day because he was such a coward. We're not sorry for it. Scaring folks is what ghosts do, so boo on him. That's alright, that was a very invigorating experience. I never felt so full of excitement before. And, ahem, <laughs> that was also a good learning experience. I think about it. Experience some more of the outside world. I'll come here a little longer. Is that okay, Mario? Of course it's okay, right? Sure, hey Dave. Done. You're so lucky to be able to travel with me. Wee ha ha. Here you go, Mario. I'll give you back the Star Spirit as I promised. Bootler, snap to it. Come over here. It's like your Star Spirit. Your Star Spirit card, Master Mario. So, yeah. The first time we get a Star Spirit. Not by fighting a boss, but rather it's given to us for fighting a boss. I, I, interestingly enough. But hey, we got we got the third star spirit, Scholar. It's got a nice little thin mustache. It's actually pretty cool. I like it. But yes, now we got it. That's the end of chapter three. After solving the secret of an invincible Tubba Blubba, Mario and Party set free Star Spirit Scholar. Now Tubba Blubba just a bad dream, the boos are free to haunt to their heart's content. Or lack of heart's content, actually. Even the lowly wind echoing through Gusty Gulls seems to be celebrating the victory. At least for now. With newest party member Bo, Bo in tow, Mari and friends are ready to take on the next challenge. Let's do it. Meanwhile, back at Castle Grey Skull. I mean, Bowser and Peach's castle. I wonder how Mara's doing. Did you think you found a way to beat Tubba Blubba? I wonder too. I'm so worried. What if he got hurt? Well, no use wondering. Let's try and eavesdrop again. If Mara managed to beat Tubba Blubba by now, Bowser and his followers would be really, really mad, don't you think? Yeah, I'm sure you'd like to get a picture of Angry Bowser for your scrapbook, right? Just like that picture of Bowser and Booster kissing from Mario RPG. That was a really funny scene, I love that one. Okay, back here. So, let's go. Nothing could go wrong, except, yes it did. It can't be, no, 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 explain that again, slowly. Um, your wretchedness, I keep trying to tell you. Double Bubba was defeated by Mario. Well, that's strange, because you told me he was invincible. How do you beat someone who is invincible? You find a way. Ugh, stupid Mario. I guess maybe he found out the secret that made him not so invincible after all. And then he beat him? I despise Mario, really. Maybe you should run, Peach. You failed me as we have to come up with another tactic quickly. Mario will likely go to Shy Guy's toy box next. Yeah, we should prepare something there for his arrival. I won't be satisfied just having him beaten up anymore. 
What we need to do is via his weak point and completely humiliate him. Yeah, that's it. Go find out what Mario hates and then... Then find out why the princess is outside. Wait, the princess is outside? For the love of... Why is Princess Peach here? What's wrong with those guards? Actually, wait. This is a good timing. My mischievous princess. We're discussing the weak points of our mutual friend, Mario. So, what do you know about his weaknesses, huh? And listen, you have to be honest. Okay, so yeah, he's gonna give you... So yeah, he's gonna ask three questions about what Mario hates most. You can either give him a weak-ass enemy, you can give, actually give him a strong enemy, or you could just lie and say that he hates mu he hates items like mushrooms. Now, thing is, I like the XP, so you know what? We'll go on the challenge run. He hates Hammer Brothers and Koopa Trolls. Oh, excellent. Perfect. Thanks, Princess. And then Mario's just like, Yeah! Thanks a lot, Peach! Way to give me a run for my money. I'm sure Mario can't avoid these things that he hates. We'll beat him for sure. Did you get all that candy, Koopa? Get going immediately. I'm not sure we can entirely trust what the princess tells about Mario's weak points, but I'll do as you say. Yeah, this is a funny thing. If you if you give him if you say Mario hates items, um, Cammy Koopa will doubt him and he's just like, will doubt Bowser and just like, are we sure Peach is being honest? I don't know, but Bowser said so, so I was like, okay, I guess I'll do it. Have Princess Peach take back to her room immediately. Finally, we'll have witnessed the end of Mario at last. For the fourth time. And back to your room. Says Wang Fire. Go to your room! And we got Scholar. Hello again, Mario. I knew you could do it. I don't know how to thank you. I knew it was the right decision to ask you to help us. You're a great man. Now that I'm free, I can help you. Ha! Ha ha! We got another great power. Star energy goes up to three, and we can use probably the best ability in the game, Star Storm. You can attack all enemies, does them and damage every time. It's really good. I have one bit of bad news. Unfortunately, Bowser's life force seems to be getting stronger all the time. Most likely it's a Star Rod giving him more power. We're not even sure if he's noticing or not, but there's no question that that's making him stronger than before. We'll have to be more careful in the coming trials. Sorry to leave, but I must go back to Star Haven. The other Star Spirits are waiting for me there. Oh, and if you could, uh, please keep your secret that I got lost in Forever Forest. Thanks, Mario. Bye-bye. Oh, now Mario's gonna, Mario's gonna gloat all about this on Twitter. It's like, Star Spirit got lost in, in Forever Forest. LOL. All right, let's go back to Toad Town. Because, let's be real, the forest is giving us all the heebie-jeebies and we don't like it. Nobody likes ghosts. Except Mario ain't afraid of no ghosts. No, that's all Luigi. All right, now then. Yeah, we would fight um, Junior Trooper, but we already did that when I was trying to show off Luigi's secret diary. And now we're back at Toe Town. However, something seems off about this place. The music is picking up and it's a little weird. I wonder what it could mean. Well, let's take a look, shall we? Hold on, let's um, go here for a second. Let's talk to this guard. Shy guys have been raising a ruckus all over town. But compared to ghosts, shy guys are nothing. And you're Feisty, the guard of four of the forest, correct? Here's a letter for you. Another delivered letter. I wonder who Bootler is. Oh no! That's that ghost! He says they're gonna creep up on you when you're sleeping. Boo! Get a hold of yourself, would you? You're a guard. Act there. Act like it. Oh no, the frying pan! And a shy guy stole Feist T's frying pan. Big group of shy guys just ran off to the north. There are all sorts of trouble they could get into. The post office, the shop, everything. Like this, like this poor baker right here. Hello there, hon. Thanks for coming to visit. But I can't cook for you, I'm sorry. My old frying pan was stolen by a shy guy. You got other utensils, you know. You could just use that, can't you? Alright. 
Well, let's take a look at all. Let's just take a quick look at all the um, ruckus on here. What do I do? I'm ruined. There's no hope for me. You can't get this train moving because the shy guy's on the tracks. I told him to scram, but he won't listen to me. He won't move at all. Um, threaten to run him over. That'll work. Or I'll just do this. There. Get back here. I'm gonna kill you. So yes, shy guys are rucking, making a ruckus, a ruckus in Overtown. They're stealing things. You little scamp, get back the cal get back the calculator. You stole the calculator from this guy, the badge man. Sorry, bud. I have to close up shop. So many shy guys stole my calculator. Believe that? I need that thing to calculate sales, bud. My genius. I mean, come on, some basic math you could do. And there's Minty. Shy guys are trampling over the flower garden. Oh no. Poor flowers, they were so beautiful. Here, I'll help you. Come on, I'll get you. I'll get you. There, take care of that. Oh, thank you. The flowers give you their thanks as well, Mario. Now then, and the shy guy on the bed. Toad House's slogan is refresh your body and soul, but it's impossible to get refreshed with this stupid shy guy over the place. Oh, come on. Okay, I just wanted to go for the ground pound, but okay. Sure. And now I'm back at the post office. Stop, thief! You just stole all those letters. I'm pretty sure that's a federal crime right now, stealing mail from the post office. Well, in fact, stealing everything is a big crime. There's bills, letters, packages. That's like a se that is definitely a more serious offense. Oh yeah, remember that advice says um, from the fort, from the outpost, we got our ground pound three times in a spinning house, and something good will happen. Oh, this one. Huh? Oh, this badge is quick change. I have no idea such a useful badge was in my tactic. You're a lucky man. You should put that badge on. Lucky ch quick change. It lets your let you change your party member and attack on it at that same turn. Oh, a letter from Merlin. I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot there was a letter for him. Who's it from? Oh, my granddaughter Merly. She recently entered the family business. Is that so? Interesting. She opened her outpost, her business in Dry Dry Outpost, deep in the desert. It's okay, it's somewhere quite off the main drag. She seems to be busy. That's good to hear. Alright, well, we got the quick change badge. Why don't we go ahead and see. Put that on. And it's four friggin' things. I mean, it makes sense. What did you expect from, uh... It's a very useful ability to have, you know? Ah, yeah, fine. I'll put on the... I'll just do this. No more regular... No more super spin for me. Just have to go back to regular crappy spinning. Fine. I guess I'll have to. Hold on. I saw the shopkeeper out here. What's going on? A shy guy took over my shop. My precious shop. Get that shy guy out of here for me. Well, let's see what the shy guy wants, huh? Can't buy anything. Welcome to shy guy's shop. Too bad I'm not gonna sell anything to you, Mario. Bombet, if you would. Thank you. That's better. That's what you get. Way to show that little hooligan a thing or two. I'm still giving great deals at rock bottom prices, so stop on by. Ugh, words are mocking me. I need that dictionary. And someone stole that dictionary. You can't look up the big words, I guess. Curses, Mario. I saw I stole my dictionary. Please get it back with me. I'm losing IQ points. You can't look up big words on the internet? Look, up, look it up on Wikipedia or something. Go to any other dictionary or something. And now Luigi is on the run from a shy guy, too. Ugh, you won't believe it. Shy guys are everywhere. They move like the wind. All I managed to do was get really upset and yell. Cooper, you do it. Get a shot. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. I'll just do it the normal way. Wait for it. Okay, okay, fine. Wait for it.
Okay, fine. Okay, wait for it right here. Should be the spot. Fucking hell, I missed it. I'm ready for you this time. I think I am. There. Get out of our house. <sighs> I'm a great jumper, but running really needs some work. A little more training, I'm gonna be vital to your team. All right, take it easy. I know I can go. You go on your adventure. I don't even want to anymore. <sighs> he seems he's so jealous. But don't worry, one day he'll get his own adventure. He'll get his time to adventure. Now then, let's look at Luigi's diary this time. Luigi's diary, page one. Once again, my brother went on an exciting journey. Once again, he went alone. It's so unfair. And I remember the carefree days when I played golf and tennis and Mario parties. Yeah, no idea. Perfect place to write new my secret diary. But I found out. And the ghost appeared in Toad Town today. It was big, really big, and had red eyes, a giant gaping mouth, and a mustache. Because you're my secret diary, I'll tell you the truth. I hate ghosts. What if I do if I'm scared of, if he comes at night? I'm scared, Mario. Come back. Be safe if I don't freeze with fear. I'll just shut my eyes and take five steps back, and then I'll jump and dash into bed. Here I go. Oh, and I forgot there's something else to show off, too. Letters from, um, people. How do you do? I'm Little T. I'm just a little toad. I live in Toad Town, practicing the dojo so I can save Princess Peach. I'll write to you again later. Bye. It's Vanity. Oh, Vanity. Vanity. That's, um, Chuck Quizmo's assistant. Thanks for participating in our quiz show. I ran through the roof. Are those stair pieces helping you? Cooper Brothers. Yo, rat, Mari. How dare you embarrass us? I'll never forget what you did. Red. Watch your back when you walk at night. Black. I'm gonna make you cry. Green. You better sleep with one eye open, pal. Yellow. We'll return. Sincerely, the Cooper Brothers. Dear Mario from the Koopas. Thanks for getting rid of our fuzzy problem. We, the Koopa Troopers and the Village, really appreciate what you've done for us. You must apologize for not worrying with anything, but we're simple Koopas. Mustafa. Hello, Wonderer. I heard many stories about your deeds. People speak very well of you. It comes from me to know that Bowser's creatures are no longer looting the ancient ruins. Unfortunately, there's relics that are missing. That's a shame. I heard that Koopa was wandering around the ruins. Hmm. Must be Colorado, I believe. And speaking of Colorado, how are you, dear boy? I finished my exhausting research of the ruins found by the unwavering efforts. That was me. I did that. You old plagiarist. So yes, those are letters you get from various people who half of them you probably never even met. But, you know, it's nice. Mario gets letters. Meanwhile, shy guys are still causing problems everywhere. It's a never-ending problem, I tell you that much. Like we see in the post office, they stole le calculator, they stole letters, they stole a dictionary, they stole Tasty's frying pan. And you're not a shy guy, that's just Twink. Mario, Mario, good to see you. Hey, how's it going? We found out you defeated Tower Blubber. I knew you could do it. When we heard the news, the princess was very relieved. Now I got some new information about the Unreal Star Spirits. Have you heard of Shy Guy's toy box? It seems that one of the star spirits is being held there. But where could that possibly be? Well, time is short. Gotta go back to the princess. Thanks a lot. This is Chuck Rippo. Chet Rippo. Okay, don't you want to upgrade your status? I know you do. I'll do the 390 coins for you before. Oh, you and only you, I'll do it for 39 coins. If you give, yeah, upgrade your HP, flower power, or badge power. Don't trust him, because if you do that, you upgrade one power, but you downgrade the other powers. So don't do that, it's not worth it. And if I see one more shy guy, I'm going to lose it. That's it! This means war! Too many items. Boo! A shy guy stole his business room. I can't stay in business. What am I gonna do? Okay, fine. I guess it's like we have no choice. We gotta go deal with these shy guys right here, right now. This must be right here in this abandoned building. 
Here's what you do. What you're supposed to do. Use bow to hide, and then the shy guy will reveal the way. La 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 la. There, the way revealed itself. So here we go. Next time. I'll do it later. <laughs>